Hey, this is Pastor Scott, and I just want to offer you a word of encouragement today. Uh, I read this recently from uh, Watchman Nee. Watchman Nee was a, a church leader in China in the, the 20th century. Uh, he was persecuted for his faith, and he spent the last 20 years of his life in prison. Ra Watchman Nee writes this, An unpeaceful mind cannot operate normally. Hence, the Apostle Paul teaches us to have no anxiety about anything, Philippians 4, 6. He continues, deliver all anxious thoughts to God as soon as they arise. Let the peace of God maintain your heart and mind. And then I think also of Paul's writing in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Now, I think, I know for me sometimes, I will have in my mind, well, I've done that. I've gone before God in my quiet time, and I have gone down the list of all the things that make me anxious. And, and, and I do it, and then I get up, and I, I'm still anxious. Because I think sometimes we think that, that um, casting all of our anxieties on God is, is an event. But I would say it's not an event. It's a way of life. And so as you continue on in these days and as you have cast all your anxieties on God and you continue on and your anxieties are still there, stop and cast them again. Let's us during this time develop uh, an overwhelming sense of God's presence with us and for us in our lives that this isn't just a separate part of our life that, you know, we've got, you know, our, our jobs and our incomes and our families and our kids and our homes and our social life and our church. It all comes under one huge umbrella of, of God. And so I want to encourage you during these days that um, these very anxious days that you will develop and use this time develop an opportunity to walk closer and closer daily, even moment by moment, with God, that as soon as those anxieties arise again, you stop right then and cast them again upon your Heavenly Father. Pray you're doing well. If we can do anything for you here at Gainesville First United Methodist Church, please let us know. We are praying for you, and um, be blessed.